Hi class, uh, this video looks at challenge exercise 7.1.2 and this goes back again to dealing with hypothesis tests for a population proportion. So here's the first one. A uh, competency test is modified so that the proportion of test takers that pass is more than 75%. Okay, so you know, they modified this test, they want more than 75% to pass. So a simple random sample of test takers is collected to determine if the proportion of passers is actually greater than 75%. Okay, so it goes on to say the uh, results of the sample are shown here. You can see right here. All right, so the first thing it says is, you know, what is N, our sample size? Well, that's the observations. That's 100. How many passed? Well, it looks like 82. And so what is the sample proportion here who passed? Well, you would take 82 and divide it by 100. You'd get 0 0.820. And just, just pay attention to the number of decimal places it asked for. You can see three here. Next, it says, what is the, um, the p-value? And that's 0 0.053. And what is the z, the test statistic right here? That's um, 1.72. So that's just how you, you know, we can check and we got it. And, you know, what you can see here is just how you can read the Excel for all these, these values here. All right, let's go on to the second question here, all right? So an airline would like information on which seat is preferred by customers. So the airline assumes the majority of customers prefer the window seat. Um, uh, so the majority here, so that tells you that they're looking to test to see if a majority, so that's gonna be a right tail test and is looking for evidence to support the claim. Okay, the results of the simple random sample of customer seat preferences given here. Okay, so identify the uh, population parameter. So what they're, what they're interested in here is the proportion of all customers who prefer the window seat. Okay, and if you look here, there's 400 observations. So it looks like a simple random sample of more than 30 customers was taken. What is the level of significance? Well, look here, the confidence level is 0 0.9. So that means my level of significance is 0 0.10. All right, what is the uh, null hypothesis here? Well, so we wanna test to see if the majority um, prefer a window seat. So we'll start with the assumption that 50% do, and a majority, we want to show evidence that greater than 50%. That would, that's what represents a majority, more than 50%. So if you look here, what's our, what's our p-value? It's 0 0.2119. So that's greater than the level of significance. So we, we're actually going to fail to reject the null here. So what conclusion can be drawn here? Well, it looks like there's insufficient evidence exists to conclude the majority of cu customers prefer the window seat. And we got it. So this video walked you through the challenge exercise 7.1.2.